Hello, everyone. Um, I'm back sooner than usual, which is good. <laughs> it's literally 4.49 in the morning and I'm making this video. I just spent like the last 30 to 40 minutes brainstorming this list that we're about to go over. But I was just kind of thinking to myself, like, what are nursing essentials that I feel like you actually need at this point? Um, and this is from just working in the hospital as a PCA for the last two years slash like now actually being a nurse. Like, what do I actually think you need? Um, spoiler alert, I personally, I used to like take a book bag to work with me and like have all these things with me. But like, honestly, I at least at my job, we have lockers. I really just keep like I one night I just like took out what I, you know, I was like, I need this here. I, you know, whatever else, like, I don't actually need this. Like, why am I bringing this bag back and forth? And now I literally just take myself, my jacket, and my keys to work. And in the summer, you know, I'll probably take, like, a little, like, side purse so I can keep my keys in that. <laughs> but, like, otherwise, I've stopped taking a book bag. And I also don't pack lunch because our cafeteria is open at night. And our food is not, honestly, not, like, that expensive. And I would just rather just not, like... I don't know, have to meal prep. Maybe one day that'll change, but for now, I don't necessarily meal prep. So if you do, that's a different story, then, you know, you probably need, like, other things. My dog is sitting right here, so if you hear some snorty breathing, that's her. But let's get into it. Um, so the first thing that is on my list are scrub pants, but not any scrub pants. Um, this brand is called Mini Marilyn. Um, it's on Amazon. Um, so they are $21, $21.99 each. And they are super cute, super affordable. And they just like, they're great. I, I've had these as my nursing scrubs for the last, um, six months and they've been holding up great. I actually just ordered two more pairs, but, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really about the paying the figs price life. You know, they're like 40 to $50 a pair. And that's just not for me. Like I remember, you know, I was like going through Amazon and I was like, I want affordable scrubs. <laughs> and so I found these and I, what I love about these two is that they're kind of like that jogger style and they kind of like have that like scrunchy look at the bottom, which I think is super cute. Um, so I highly recommend these. Love them. Um, my next recommendation on my list is a good pair of shoes. Now, let me tell you something. I mean, you can get away, you know, with like wearing a pair of like, you know, whatever shoes, but like I highly recommend since, you know, we're on our feet so much, investing in a good pair, going to a store and trying on, a, you know, a few pairs because everybody's feet are different. Um, you know, a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, hokas are so great or cloves are so great. I've never tried, uh, cloves, but I I've tried like hokas on in person in the store and I didn't like how they felt on my feet. The shoes that I use, these are the exact ones. I, um, I wear Brooks ghost 13s. These are the exact style that I have. If it would focus. Um, I love these. And what you can also do on top of that is you can find a store, I'm sure that just about everyone has a store similar to this um, close by to them. I, um, a store basically that will create custom insoles for your feet because, you know, you can get like orthopedics, but, but those are like super expensive. Um, the store, there's like a store here where I live, it's called Roadrunner. Um, I think I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And they have this like machine thing where like they have like this, the, the insoles and then you like step on it and it like heats it up and like molds it to your feet. Highly recommend doing something like that. For me, they, I think that they were like $70 for the insoles. But if you think about that in comparison to like $500 for orthopedics, which is like usually what they are, I think it's a pretty good deal to pay 70 instead of 500, but that's just me. I'm not very good at math, but that's some, some interesting numbers to me. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend good shoes. Excuse you. Sorry. I highly recommend some good shoes, um, and some insoles. Um, next here on my list is a good jacket. Now my hospital, they have like a gift store and we honestly, I, I love our uniform policy. We can wear like whatever, you know, we have to wear like the, the, um, 
scrub pants color like we have to wear like the blue that I showed you guys in the um where I showed you the scrubs that that's the color blue scrubs that we have to wear but in terms of tops we like our gift store they sell a bunch of like cute shirts like year round and they come in a bunch of different colors because we I work in a pediatric hospital so it's like you know we're all colorful and all that um and it like has like the hospital logo on it but like on night shift honestly we can kind of get away with like wearing like whatever random sweatshirts as long as they're like obviously work appropriate um but a jacket jackets are essential in the hospital it's just cold it really is it's just cold all the time so if you can find like a cute you know uh work jacket at your gift store or one on amazon um this brand here port authority is like one of the uh, work jackets that i have is this brand and it's really nice um this jacket right here, I just found like a random jacket by them and the price this one here is $24 and I'll try to link everything um, in the description box. Um, but yeah, a good jacket because it gets cold. Next thing, let's see, I'm kind of going in like kind of random order. Um, so I personally love, <laughs> remember when we were kids and we would have like those pens that they're like eight colors in one? That's what I use at work. I love pens like these at work because I like to write things in different colors. Like if something's like important, I'll like write it in red. If, you know, cause I, I'm, I'm a very visual person and I just, I don't like everything being one color because I don't know, it just like helps me to see everything in like kind of like different colors based on like, I, I, I don't know, I have like a weird system in my head and everybody does. Whether you use different colored pens Okay, we kind of frozen that last clip, but whether you use um, different colored pens or different colored highlighters, um, I, I just like the convenience of having these pens where it's just all in one so that way you don't have to have like a million pens and you can just have this one in your pocket. Um, next is a pen light. Um, I think it's pretty basic, a pen light. Um, just like any pen light really um but then a fun thing that you can do so i have two like i said i work in pediatrics um so you can also i feel like having both is kind of great because just depending on what you want to do so I, my pen light my actual is like way brighter than um the one that i have on my um lanyard but a lanyard uh like little light so you can get little fun ones like this one's a lego and it like lights up super cute but if you don't want to go that route um there's also these like little more keychain looking ones um that i think are great but it's just like really nice it's really convenient just to have um, also to hang everything on, um, I'm a lanyard girly. I like wearing lanyards. I have mine sitting right there on my, um, key hanging thing. Um, so the brand, I get mine from like the gift store in the hospital. Like we, like I said, um, the brand that they are, are palm cheese. Um, they just like sell them in the actual, actual gift store, but there's like a few on, on Amazon. But if you go on their actual website, you can find more, but they're just super cute. Like this is an example of one. They come in a bunch of different colorways. Um, I have like a neon pink and green one, green one. I just bought like an, an all pink one. I bought this like purple one that has like little different color variations throughout. Super cute. Um, I just think it's like another little fun pop of color. Um, Clearly, I love being colorful, um, as you can tell by, like, my shoes and all that. Um, but, yeah, I think that that's, like, a fun little, little, you know, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> um, okay, so another thing to put on your, like, lanyard or whatever is a badge buddy um, to hold your, um, like, badge ID. Um, so my favorite ones, I think they're super cute, are by Betsy Johnson. Um, you can find these on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks, but this is the exact one that I have. I just think it's so freaking cute. It says, don't forget to take your meds. Um, and there's so many of them. There's, um, this one that I got my preceptor my senior year and because it was a cardiac floor. So it was this one. It's just super cute. And everybody always asks me like, oh my gosh, I love your little, like, uh, badge reel like where'd you get it so betsy johnson makes them they're super cute and i found them at um just like a nursing store 
at the mall. Um, and okay, so the next thing that I think is super cool are little like retractable scissors. I actually lost mine. My friend, she like bought a pack and she gave me one and I lost it. So I actually need to buy another, like I just need to buy a pack for myself. But retractable scissors, um, scissors come in very handy and these are always so great because you can literally just put these in your pocket um, or like clip them on to like something like you know you're one of the the little keychains on your lanyard or whatever and it's just so convenient because you would be surprised how often you need a pair of scissors um so I love having those let's see okay badge buddies so there's a lot of information we need to know and honestly like a lot of times um the hospital like you you know nursing educator they'll give you like little badge buddies but you can also buy your own on Amazon um and like I don't know, choose like the orientation because they come in either like vertical or like horizontal, (laughs) vertical, lol, vertical or horizontal. Um, But yeah, you can buy little like badge buddies with like information on them because like I said, it's impossible to remember everything. Um, Next thing, a good stethoscope. I am a, I'm a true believer in getting yourself a nice stethoscope um, for, for nursing just because I, you know... Even if you don't work on a floor where it's like, I don't know, like cardiology heavy or like respiratory heavy, it's just nice to just like always have one because you never know you could randomly get a patient that's like, you know, having issues and it's just nice to know that you have like, you, I, I I was like very anxious as a new grad. I was like, because I had like a an older stethoscope that it wasn't bad. It was a Litman, but like the headpiece was like plastic and I don't know. I just like was like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Like what if I, and I'm honestly, I'm not good at like not the best at like breath sounds and all of that, but I still like... I want to give myself the best chance to like hear everything. (laughs) So I was like, I need to get something that is like more, I don't know, high tech. (laughs) That's just my way of thinking though. But I have the Cardiology 4 stethoscope by Littman and I have it in this pretty pink color right here. Um, This is definitely one of the higher ticket items. I definitely use some money for my grad party to buy this. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I mean, even if you like ask your friends or family and you're like hey I really want this could we like all pitch in to like help me get this um and that goes for like a lot of these things too and if you have like a grad party you could like make a wish list with like a lot of this stuff um but yeah and then going along with the stethoscope um you want to make sure you know that it's yours and I don't know I feel like a lot of people tend to have like very similar stethoscopes so I like to have like a little charm on mine and it has like my name because you can get customized ones and they're not that expensive I mean this one's like nine fifty on Amazon and you can like have it written like your name on it and like a little mine is in my locker at work but it has my name on it um it's like RNBSN and it has like a little butterfly on it it's super cute and it's it's not very expensive and it's just nice because it helps you keep track of your stuff okay I feel like I'm like speeding through these it's just because I literally have over 30 things on this list so I'm just like I can't stay here forever um okay next thing compression socks. I actually need to buy myself some, but I would just highly in general, you know, we're on our feet so much recommend some compression socks. Um, again, you can get like whatever, you know, style color way. They have like more neutral ones here. If you are not about the colorful life, like I am, but, um, compression socks, great, basic, nothing revolutionary. Okay, now here are some of the, especially if you work night shift essentials, which I do. Listen, I don't care if you think you have the best sleep mask, you don't because this is the best sleep mask. The brand is, and I swear to God, I wish I had a sponsorship. I wish I had a sponsorship sponsorship for any of this stuff, but the brand is Fresh Me and it's literally the best. My microphone's down here. The best, the best hands down sleep mask ever. Um, It is like thick all the way around. It's like 100% cotton or whatever. Um, And it's just so nice. I have it in purple. um, And it's just, it doesn't get caught in your hair. It doesn't move. um, Because I feel like the worst is when you have like the like thin strappy ones and it just like squeezes your head weird. And the strap just like, I just, I can't do it. This is the best sleep mask. And it truly is like, blackout like I love this now if you want to get like the best like maximize like darkness you got to double up and you got to get some blackout curtains so that is my next one blackout curtains and really I mean this can just be like whatever you want for blackout curtains but I truly feel like it's like 
blackout curtains, sleep mask, and they go hand in hand very much so, just like that. Um, next thing, extended release melatonin. Not just regular melatonin, but extended release. Um, this is the one that I use. I found at Target one day randomly, and I was like, um, yes, please. Um, so it is Nature's Made melat extended release melatonin. It is great. Um, I... I don't really, excuse me, I don't really take it on days that I'm not working, but I will take it on days that I'm working sometimes just to like guarantee that I get um, good sleep and it usually really helps. Now going along with sleep hygiene, um, I like to treat myself in the shower and Bath and Body Works makes some, you know, they have like their um, essential oils line. So they have a few different things that I really love and recommend. And I feel like it's just like nice to have this kind of like sleepy time routine. So they have their sleep um, body washes. I love this one. It is the, what is it? Lavender and vanilla. Ugh. If you don't like lavender, you're not going to like it. But, and they, I, I think that they have like a few other scents at this point for sleep. Like I think they have like a chamomile one. But I just love it's just like there's just something about it you're just like getting ready for bed you know what I usually like to do is I I sleep with an electric blanket especially right now in the winter but I will I'll get home I'll turn on my electric blanket so that it's like warming up while I'm in the shower I'll take my extended release melatonin before I jump in the shower I'll go in the shower and I will use my body wash and I'll be in there living my best um and it's great and then when you come out um you have your sleepy time body lotions then you're like extra you're like really in it you're really in the sleepy time you're like yes ready for bed and then when you jump into bed pillow spray <laughs> and you guessed it they also make the same scent so you're just like all like the sleepy time vibes all around and I just feel like it's just nice it's just nice to have something to kind of like associate with with sleepy time um so now let me make sure that I have nothing else on the bottom of this list that I'm missing. No. So now let's kind of get into the fun stuff. Um, so I think that if you want a good water bottle, I feel like everybody has like a specific type of water bottle that they like. Personally, I feel like I... The water bottle that I like, that I I feel like I drink water from the best, is a water bottle like this. I actually take out the straw. I don't like the straw, but I like the sippy cup spout. Um, and this is my favorite cup. It's like literally like the only cup that can get me to drink water because I'm terrible at drinking water. But it's um, by Bubba, and I found it at Target, but you can also obviously find it on Amazon, and you can get it in different colorways. I just love it. Highly recommend um, the next thing I have here, and I've talked about these before in like my beauty recommendations, but my little nail strips. So I have these on right now. These are the Dashing Diva brand. They're super cute. They're nail stickers. I just have, um, like a random set pulled up on Amazon. Do not get them on Amazon because first of all, like, I don't even think that they're properly sold on there because I can barely find any like color selections, but you can find them at Ulta. Ulta has the most um, like uh, patterns. Uh, Ulta, Sally's, Walmart, and Target are where I found them so far. But the brand is Dashing Diva and I just love it because I just feel like, you know, you get to look cute and yeah, I love them. And they last for, you know, how long they're supposed to last and they're really easy to use. Um, and yeah, um, the next thing I have are hair clips. I feel like I always keep a hair clip on my lanyard and they just come in so handy because I personally like I don't know I just don't really like using hair ties in my hair that much and I just some sometimes like I just want to like take my hair down to like kind of give like my scalp a break while I'm at work so I just really like having hair tie or hair clips because they're just very easy to just like take your hair up put your hair down they're just great I love hair clips like these I just think that they're cute and I think that they just kind of like really hold the best at least in my hair but whatever hair clip that you like and whatever hair clip that holds best in your hair is what I think you should get um now there are some days though where I will wear my hair up in a bun and I feel like the best kind of hair tie hands down to keep your hair in a bun are these like phone cord coil ones like I used to be scared to use these I used to like not really be a believer in them because I was like oh my god it's gonna get caught in my hair but like it doesn't and I swear to you 
like my buns have never stayed more put than when I when I put my hair up with one of these. Um, so then what I will do is I'll put my hair up in a bun with these. And then the next thing on the list, I love to get like really like jumbo size, like oversized cute scrunchies. And then like I'll like put it over top and then it just looks really cute. I usually get mine from Target because they usually have like really, really cute ones. But you can find some like wherever. But I just think it's just like a fun little, you know, like easy like very low maintenance thing to do to your hair but it just like adds that like extra little touch of like oh that's cute I like that um going along with that hair bands listen it's just so easy because it's just it makes it look like you really tried but you really didn't try that hard um so I love cute little headbands like these um I love wearing cute little pearl ones like these it just like makes it look like you really tried and you really didn't. You really didn't. And it's just so cute and so easy. And I love them. And going along with that, um, I also love cute little hair clips. Um, you know, I feel like we as nurses, we don't get to like dress up, you know, like how other people do when they're like going to the office and they get to wear like, you know, these fan fancy blouses or whatever. So wherever I get to dress myself up, like in terms of fun little hair accessories and like makeup, like I, I'm just that girl. <laughs> So, um, I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, another thing that I feel like, let me make sure here that I'm not missing anything. Another thing that I feel like is an essential item to being a nurse is a smartwatch, an Apple watch, whatever kind of watch that is compatible with your phone. Um, I have an iPhone clearly. So, um, I highly recommend an Apple watch. It just comes in so handy. You can customize the little face of it and you can set it to where you can like quickly access like putting setting timers or um I use the stopwatch function like nobody's business because when you're counting like respirations and stuff you gotta ha you have to count for like a full minute and I hate having to find the clock in the room so I just like press my stopwatch and it just counts for a full minute and it's just so nice and so convenient and the timer you know like sometimes the med will be running over 15 minutes and it'll start, you know, beeping. So I'll set myself a 15 minute timer as soon as I start the med so that, you know, I know like I can like get back in the room before it even starts beeping and stuff. Um, so that's really, really helpful in my opinion. Um, another thing that I think is super great is if you're trying to be good and you're trying, you know, make your little coffees and stuff at home, I really recommend cute little tumblers like this where you can just like, they're reusable and you can wash them um, and you can just like pour your like at home coffee. I drink cold coffee, but if you drink hot coffee, then you would just get like the hot coffee version of these. But I love these um, just because they're reusable and they're cute and they're fun and it just makes your life a lot easier. Um, now, one more like beauty thing before we kind of get off the beauty thing, because I kind of did, is a like kind of like a manicure kit. Because I, let me tell you, I am the queen of getting hangnails. Like I get them so often and I don't really know what to do to stop it. But like there's nothing worse than like getting a hangnail or breaking a nail or something at work and you don't have something to like cut your nails with or like get rid of it. So just having like a little ma like manicure kit with you, I feel like is super helpful um, and it comes in a lot handier than you would think. Um, okay, let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, one more beauty thing. Cute earrings. I feel like just having cute little, you know, earrings. Again, it's like one of those things where it's small, but it's just, it makes you feel prettier and it feels, you know, what it, what's the saying? Look good, feel good, right? So I'm a big proponent of feeling your best. <laughs> okay. So, um, kind of jumping back to like with the Apple watch thing, I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping all over the place with this list. Um, headphones, whether you have AirPods or just whatever kind of headphones, I just have AirPods on here cause I have AirPods. Um, but some sort of a headphone, um, just, you know, it's great. Cause then when you're sitting in the back and you're eating your lunch, you can like listen to stuff and just kind of like decompress and, or even just put them on and have nothing playing, but then people won't bother you because they'll think that you're listening to something. <laughs> so headphones, I think, are great. Going along with that, a phone charger. Listen, I know technically we're not supposed to have our phones on the floor or whatever, but you can charge your phone in the, in the back. I, I just, you know, have a phone charger. It's, it's great. If your floor doesn't really like have phone chargers, I feel like sometimes like they'll have like some in the back or whatever, but having your own just in case, um, I feel like is great. 
So, oh my God, we're almost done, guys. I promise. I'm like really trying to go fast. <laughs> I told you it's like 30 plus things. Another thing, and I just like have this on here, but really you can make your own like little, I just had I had this on here so I didn't forget to talk about it you can make your own little kit but like a period kit you know um if you're a girl um or identify as a girl if you have a cycle basically um a period kit pads tampons you know like put it in like a little cute bag like this and just keep it in your bag or keep it in your locker and you know because we have pads and stuff in the hospital and I guess if you run out but like if you're if you use tampons or you know it's just nice you just have it you just don't have to worry about it that's that and yeah now these last two are kind of going back <laughs> along kind of like with the kitcheny stuff like with the tumblers but a toaster a toaster is great this is the toaster that I the exact toaster that I have it's the Cuisinart one and it has like a few different cool settings on it like bagel defrost reheat I just really like it especially because of like that defrost and reheat and I love bagels so I use the bagel one like a lot like the bagel setting a lot um, and it's just really really nice and I really like it and it's just nice too like when you just like wake up and you know you just want to eat something really quick and you just pop things in there and it's great and the last thing, the last thing on my list, um, I guess kind of two things, but um, an air fryer. Honestly, an air fryer will just save your life because when you are getting ready, if you just, you know, pop some, something in there, um, you know, what I like to do sometimes is I will try to have some like meals that are like quick at home so that like when I just like don't have the time or the energy to like really like make myself something like healthier um then I can like make something that like I will feel like satiated by like I have basically at home chick-fil-a where I have like chicken strips and I have like waffle fries and stuff and I will throw them in the air fryer while I'm getting ready and then it'll be ready in like you know, less than 15 minutes. And then, you know, while I'm getting ready and I'll come back, I'll get it. I have like Chick-fil-A sauce and it's great. It's great. And I will do that. But I just feel like you can do so much with an air fryer. And again, going along with coffee, a coffee maker. Um, if you make coffee at home, um, and hot coffee, um, or just, I don't know, fresher coffee instead of like pre-mixed coffee. Yeah. <laughs> But those are all of the things that I have on my list. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think that's everything that I have on my list. And man, I really tried to zoom past that. I hope that you guys got some ideas. I hope that I showed you something new that you haven't seen in a different video before. I really tried to like think about uh, what I truly feel like is what I think are necessary things. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you, uh, excuse me, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Molly. I'm going to pick her up and wake her up. Say bye. <laughs> She's like, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> okay, bye.